Alejandro Pacheco's passion is making the world a brighter place. You know, what I like is creating things. And yeah, drawing, making clay. And his creativity is blossoming. You have the specific green. Thanks to the roots laid down by Vicky Vestra and her nonprofit, Autism Ships. So he went through the course, and today he's doing graphic design work for us. Autism Shifts has created optimal courses for students like Alejandro. And of course our programs are all uh, designed to educate, inform, uh, get us up to speed, help us to grow, help us to have the tools and processes we need as a community um, to go out and create that for ourselves. And Vicki's passion to help people like Alejandro runs deep. She founded Autism Shifts years ago after her and her husband's own personal experiences trying to help their daughter Gabby. What we're trying to do is we're trying to save parents the agony of having to go research all of that and really present information that we know is really valuable uh, to know about your child, about autism, about you know different situations that we encounter, which are common. Vicki says through their journey, she was able to develop necessary tools, empowering the autism community with programs focusing on specialized training, resources, and connection opportunities. Vicki's own team is proof the programs work. Julie McDee joined the team after her own son went through the Employment Ready course. You know, it just opened up a completely different part of him. Like He was so much more confident in the things that he wanted to do. Darcy Rouhani can attest to that. She is autistic and left her engineering job to join the team after going through the courses. And I shifted as an individual myself. Darcy says the programs led to acceptance and personal growth, making her feel more empowered. I'm, I'm grateful that I'm able to use my skills and that Vicki's been giving me an opportunity to do so. Vicki feels the programs at Autism Shifts are needed more than ever with the growing autistic world. According to the CDC, one in 54 children are diagnosed with autism. And so we're really wanting to equip uh, our community. And Vicki says she is planning on taking her mission from local to global with exciting new initiatives. And then the lighter green. Yes, I guess see the shade. That will help create a whole new world, shifting the way people think about autism from a place of fear or misunderstanding to a new reality of acceptance, hope, and joy, thanks to the grassroots effort of a mother and her mission. Oh, I, I feel like it's a green zone. You know, we, we say the green zone is your happy place, you know, your happy spot.